Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this gorgeous Rivoli pendant. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure if you find the right materials you will be able to do this even if you are a beginner. If you want to see similar videos down there in description I have a whole playlist with similar tutorials with crystals and also if you become a member you will see a tutorial for a similar ring. Check description for full list of materials and other useful resources like my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell and thank to all of you that like, share and comment you help me so much. Now without further ado let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 110 Mayuki Delica beads white and blue and here I'm also using 150 Mayuki beads in silver color. This is a pendant holder or a bale also called and this one here guys is amazing 18 millimeter Rivoli crystal that my friends from beading school by Erika Sandor have been so kind to send me. The quality is amazing and uh, down there you will see link to the unboxing of her collections if you want to see them and you're curious. Now I will be making a pendant with this amazing crystal here. What else I'm using is Fireline. Here I use size 0 0.17 but it will work also really nice with 0 0.15 which is 0 0.006 inches and by the way you could check description for full list of materials the mentioned videos of the unboxing also facebook and instagram pages where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel which now besides the other perks is a course five unexpected designs that you could do with peyote stitch and there I'm showing a gorgeous ring with 14 millimeter chaton crystal which is bezel the same way with peyote. Okay and let's continue this this is size 11 beading needle I think you could do it with size 10 as well but with 11 or 12 it will be easier for you and here I'm using scissors and I'm also using pliers. Okay and now I'm gonna be taking a little bit more than an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and how I'm going to start my work? I will start it with a peyote bezel and because here I'm using 18 millimeter Rivoli crystal I will take the chart that my friends from Beading School by Erica Sandor sent me and I will check what number of beads I need to start a peyote bezel around 18 millimeter Rivoli or Chaton and it says 46 to 48 but I want to start it with 48 because I want if I split in two to have also even number because later I will need it for to making the edge you will see why so I will start it with 48 beads guys Okay, and I'm going to pick up now 48 white beads because this is a long process. I will do this off camera and I'll be back to tell you how to continue. Okay guys, and here are my 48 beads. I double checked. I split them in 12 times 4 to be sure I have 48 because here if I make a mistake I should start over again. Okay, you could do it with a stopper bead if you want, now I'm showing it in this way. If it's easier for you, add a stopper bead before you start it. Okay, and I want to go in this direction through some beads. 
to be sure my circle is securely closed. Okay. Now maybe you think it's a too big of a circle for this 18 millimeter rivoli. You see it's obviously bigger, but now when we add the next row, the beads go zigzagging and this is in fact, these are two rows of peyote stitch and when I add the next row, there will be three rows. If you are confused now, don't worry, we, you will see what I'm talking about and this ring here will shrink and I will be able to bezel this rivoli with it. Okay, so now the next row is really easy. I just need some of the blue beads that I have here, the 11 all blue beads. And what I'm going to do is as I'm exiting through one of those white beads here, I'm skipping the next one that's on my way and I go through the following. Okay, and I pull. And I pull from here as well because since I didn't add a stopper bit, it might be a little bit loose at this step, only in the beginning. Okay, then I take one blue bead, I skip the one that's on my way, and I go through the following. Just skip one and go through the following all the time. And when you pull, from both sides, this is what you have. Your beads are starting to zigzag, you see? Then again, I need a blue one. Skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. Okay, and I pull. I'll show you two more times and let you do this by yourself until the end. If you feel insecure, just rewind the video, see how I'm doing this part and repeat it until the end. Okay, skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. It's so easy, really extremely easy. You should just pull in the beginning and here you don't even have to pull from both sides anymore, just here. Okay, and I will continue this and I'll meet you here at the last step. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row and it should look like this. Here you should go here through the last white bead next to the blue. If you have here, if you have two white beads, uh, it means that you made a mistake and in the first row or in the second row and you will should go back and fix it okay start over and now guys here what i have in fact are three rows of peyote stitch peyote stitch are count diagonally here i have one two three rows of peyote and now maybe you could better imagine how this could become a casing for my rivoli now what comes next is to add this beautiful silver beads and how I'm going to add them. I want to go diagonally here and reach the inner peyote row, the white beads that are sticking out towards the center. And here I will do something that is really easy and simple. I'm going to take 15-0 and I'm going in the next white bead, filling the gap between the whites that are sticking out in the center. You may see them like zigzagging and sticking. Then I will take another one and I'm going here in this white. Then another and go in the next white that is sticking out, just filling the gap. You see how easy it is after you do the first two steps. Okay, then I take another one and 
I go in the next white that is sticking out. And that's it guys, it's so easy and so pleasant and I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it until the end. It's absolutely the same thing. Uh, add just silver beads and meet me here at the last step. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step, you see. This is the last gap I have here to fill with the silver beads. And I'm going through the white one again. And I pull. And now I have this row ready. It was really easy and pleasant. Now what I want to do is go through this silver one here. And I want to make another silver row. And how I do this, I take just one silver. And this time go through the following silver. Now I'm going to be filling the gaps between the silver beads that are sticking out. Okay. Then again I'm taking a silver. And I go in the next silver. As I'm exiting through one of the silvers, I go in the following silver. And I pull. And I will show you two more times and let you do this by yourself until the end. Silver and go in the next silver, only through the silver. Don't make the mistake to go also through the white. Okay, I'm going only through the silver and pulling. And then again I'm taking silver. And this guys makes my casing shrink even more as you may see and it will be easier to fit it on my crystal okay i will continue this and when i'm ready with this row I'll... okay guys and you see where i am i'm here at this gap where i need to add my last silver eight toe bead okay and i have it here and I do absolutely the same thing as I'm exiting through one of the silver beads. I'm going through the other one and I'm filling this gap and you see how it looks now. Okay, and after I added my last bead here, what I want to do is make another row because you see now when I put my Rivoli, it looks a little bit wider for it. So... I will do another row of 15 0 beads, okay? And how I do this, I go through one of the beads that are sticking out the most. And I take just one. And I go in the other one that's sticking out the most. And this is absolutely the same thing that I was doing in my previous two rows. That is why I'm going to show you three steps of this one and I will let you do this by yourself okay just fill the gaps guys and make another row of this beautiful 15 0 beads and continue filling the gaps and meet me here at this part okay guys and you see here what I need to add is my last few beads from this row. Okay, I'm adding them the same way as I showed you. And I'm pulling really tight here. Okay, and this one here is the last one. Okay, and now when I put my Rivoli, it's not loose anymore. And now what I need to do is go here in this direction, through this silver, and through the next three rows of Peyote Stitch, the two whites and the blue one, as I told you, you count them diagonally. Okay, and here guys, I'm going to start 
absolutely the same thing that I did in the center in order to make my casing okay I will go like this with 15 0 beads between the blue 11 0 beads to shrink the casing and fit it around the crystal the so-called peyote bezeling okay and now I will continue this and I will pull tight to make those beads go to the center of my work okay I'm pulling tight and I will continue until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay see you okay guys and when I continued this is what I have I need to add here my last silver bead and I pulled all the time to the center to make this casing tighter and now I'm going to take my Rivoli and fit it in because later I don't know if I will have the chance to fit it anymore it will get too tight and now what I do is that I'm going to add my last bead here just like this and I'm pulling okay and I have this now okay guys and now as I added my last silver bead and I pulled tight you see my Rivoli is already fit here and what I want to do is make additional rows here to make this even tighter I'm going through this silver one take one silver and go in the next silver then again I take a silver and go in the next silver and then one more and go here in the following and I will continue this guys until the end but it is absolutely the same thing that I showed you several times before that's why I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it by yourself okay continue this and meet me here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last silver bead from this row silver 15 0 and now you see when I add this one everything looks nice and tight around this crystal so the bezeling is successful now what we're going to do next is another row of decoration I want to go through the blue and through the following white in this direction if you can't do it in one movement first go through the blue and then go through the white okay then here I want to make a beautiful edge of beads I'm going to use again these 15 0 beads and I go in the next white bead okay and I have this beautiful edge here then again I need three and I skip the blue one that's on my way and I go through the white okay and I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row it's absolutely the same thing I'm exiting out of white and going through the next white that's on my way that's on my way in a straight line okay and I pull and I'm going to continue this until the end and it's really simple and really easy and when I'm ready I'll meet you here at this side here and I'll tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am at my last step where I need to add my last three seed beads from this row and where I add them at the same place exiting through one of the ways keeping the black in the middle the blue in the middle and going 
through the following bead okay now I have this okay guys and what I want to do next is go here through this silver and through the next one okay like this and here what I want to do is make a loop and attach my bail okay and how I do this I take here five seed beads okay five and as I'm going here through the top I go here in the next one and through the top okay like this then what I want to do is reinforce this joint here Okay, and now I want to go here at the back and go zigzagging through some beads and cut my thread. Okay, and when you zigzag many times it's time to cut your thread okay i'm cutting my thread now i will put my bail and my chain on it and i'll be ready okay guys and now my gorgeous 18 millimeter rivoli pendant is ready if you want to watch more similar tutorials down there in description there is a playlist with unboxing videos with similar crystals and tutorials for similar jewelries. You could also become a member and watch similar tutorial for a ring with a 14 millimeter chaton this time. Down there in description you will see all these useful links and resources and you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook and Instagram pages. Thank you so much for watching. Continue with the playlist that I mentioned. Bye bye from me.